Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Chinya. This is Umar Shankar Alinde, AD coordinator. Welcome to Algebra, Vector Algebra. So far successfully, we have completed 11 lessons in Vector Algebra. This is lesson number 12. And through this lesson, we are completely concentrating on the vector equation of a line and a plane. And if you are good at a vector equation of line and plane, both in vector form as well as in Cartesian form, several things we can solve in a three-dimensional geometry also. Again, that we will discuss slowly in the coming videos also. My suggestion would be, please don't forget to check the description there. I am providing very good important information. If possible, some important assignments also to strengthen your preparation. Okay, my friends, through this lesson, today we are concentrating the vector equations of the line and the plane and applications of some physical applications of vectors. Okay, just a formula points only here I am giving. Please practice all these formulae. If you have converted all these formulae in terms of Cartesian form, you will get the relation between Cartesian equation of the plane and line versus vector forms of the lines and planes. Now, this is first one. Equation of uh, the equation r bar minus r naught bar dot n cap n bar is equal to 0 represents the plane containing the point with the position vector r bar naught where n bar is the vector normal to the plane. So, suppose this is the plane equation of the plane and this is the plane uh, containing the point r bar naught, p r bar naught, say, or p r capital I say. Suppose this is the point p r bar, any point, and o is uh, origin, this is uh, o p bar, and this is p r bar. And this is the unit vector, uh, this is the vector normal, this is the normal n bar perpendicular to the plane, okay. So, this is a vector O p bar and this is vector R p bar. So, automatically since n bar is a vector perpendicular to the plane, so R bar minus R bar dot that means p r bar is perpendicular to n bar that means R bar minus R bar dot n bar equal to 0 which indicates what the equation of the plane containing the point R naught bar and having n, n bar is the vector perpendicular to the plane. If r naught bar is equal to 0, then it is nothing but a vector equation of the plane passing through r z. Suppose if the distance, distance between the origin and the point, origin and the point is d, then the vector equation of the plane is nothing but r bar dot n bar is equal to d. This is called general equation of the plane. Suppose if r bar is equal to xi plus yj plus zk and n bar is equal to ai plus bj plus ck which is the vector which is perpendicular to the plane of a bar and b bar, r bar dot n bar is equal to d implies ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. This is what general equation of the plane in a Cartesian system. The same thing here in a vector form r bar dot n bar is equal to d. That is why while practicing this formula simultaneously if you are observing the Cartesian forms then you will get complete awareness both in vector and Cartesian forms of planes and lines very neatly. Okay, This is about the plane, the required equation of the planes and the equation of the plane having the passing the, containing the point p naught and perpendicular to the vector n bar. Clear? Right. And this is important concept. How do you find angle between two planes? Suppose this is a plane given for me. This is another plane. These two are the two intersecting planes. Then uh, the angle between two planes is nothing but the angle between the normals. So, this is the normal perpendicular to the plane, this is normal. So, angle between these two normals is nothing but angle between two planes. In general, people do mistakes while finding the angle between two planes. Simply, they will find cos theta sin theta by using some ordinary formula. Please do not do like that. 
suppose r bar dot n1 bar equal to d1 r bar dot n2 bar is equal to d2 here n1 bar and n2 bar are what normals not unit normals normals to the planes then angle between n1 bar and n2 bar is nothing but angle between the two planes clear and the e angle between line and the plane is nothing but the complement of the angle between line and the normal to the plane see the difference angle between the two planes is different angle between a line and the plane is different angle between the two planes is nothing but angle between the normals whereas angle between the line and the plane is nothing but complement of the angle between line and the normal to the plane okay so please don't forget this fans panna Now equation of the plane. Vector equation of the plane passing through the point A, whose position vector is A bar and parallel to the vectors B bar and C bar. See here. So this is my plane. In general, equation of the planes are represented with the pi something sigma something like that. So this is my pi. This is a plane parallel to the vectors B bar and C bar. And uh, and uh, what uh, um, passing through the position vector. Uh, passing through the uh, point capital A, that means whose position vector is A bar. That means uh, clearly the vector C A P bar, B bar, C bar are what coplanar. Clearly from the diagram, vectors A P bar, B bar, C bar are coplanar. If they are coplanar, then A P bar, comma B bar, comma C bar equal to zero. This is one way of getting equation of the plane. If you simplify this, you will get the answer. Or you do, you can do one thing. Whenever three vectors are coplanar, one vector can be expressed as a scalar multiple of another. That means this is S B bar plus T C bar. What is A P bar? O P bar minus O A bar. O P bar minus that means R bar minus A bar equal to S B bar plus T C bar. So R bar equal to A bar plus S B bar plus T C bar. This is the idea behind the screen. Clear? So. Therefore, to solve this fine kind of relations, I used what previous fundamental theorem of the plane, vectors in a plane and the fundamental theorem of vectors in a space concepts I have applied. Okay, now my friends, vector equation of the plane passing through the points A bar, A B, whose position vectors are A bar and B bar and parallel to same thing. It is in the previous one. It is passing through the point. A bar and parallel to the vectors B bar and C bar. Whereas in the second one, it uh, it is passing through the points A bar and A capital A and capital B and parallel to one. The same formula, same apply. Apply R bar equal to one minus S into A bar plus S B bar plus T C bar. Okay, please practice. Uh, you just verify. See, suppose A bar equal to A one I plus A two J plus B bar C three K and B bar equal to B one I. It's like that. You write it and R bar is equal to X A plus Y A plus Z K. You compare I J K coefficient and both you will get equation of the plane equations in Cartesian form also. Now, my friends, this is the way. And the same thing you can apply here. Also, three vectors are given. A P bar is one vector. A P bar and B bar uh, A C bar they are parallel. So apply the same fundamental, you will get it. Okay, my friends. Okay. Now equation of the plane, another form. Vector equation of the plane passing through three points. So in first one, equation of the plane passing through one point and parallel to two vectors. Second one, equation of the plane passing through two points and parallel to another vector. Now this is equation of the plane passing through three points. Okay. Equation of the plane passing through three points is what R bar equal to one minus S minus T into A bar plus T B bar plus T C bar, where S and T are scalars. This is the way, because here very clear that the vectors A P bar, A B bar, A C bar all are what coplanar. So here vector A P bar, A B bar, A C bar are coplanar. So box of this is equal to zero. Or A P bar can be expressed as a linear combination of Uh, S into A B bar plus a T into A C bar. A B bar means R bar minus A bar. This is equal to S into A B bar minus B bar minus A bar because all are points. This is T into A C bar means C bar minus A bar. You simplify this, you will get the answer like this. This is the way. This is the way to find vector equation of the plane. Now vector equation of the line. 
this already we derived in our previous video so just here i am again uh, repeating the same what is a vector equation of the line passing through the point a bar and parallel to the vector t bar b bar r bar equal to a bar plus t b bar and similarly vector equation of the line passing through the points capital a, a bar capital b b bar r bar equal to a bar plus t into b bar minus a bar this is equation of the line passing through two points this is equation of the line passing through the point and parallel to okay now my friend applications of the vectors see work done again is if i know force if i know displacement what is work done w bar is equal to f by bar dot s bar and tangential velocity v bar of a body moving in a circle tangential velocity v bar so tangential velocity of a vector v bar velocity v bar of a body moving in a circle with the, the circle is given by v bar equal to w bar cross r bar where r bar is position vector of the point v bar clear and w bar is what the vector which passing through a now my friends next the moment of uh, f bar about o is defined as what is concept moment moment of uh, uh, moment uh, momentum formula m bar is equal to r bar cross f bar where r bar is what position vector of the point p with respect to o the direction of m bar is along the normal to the plane of opm such that uh, r bar cap f bar m bar form a right handed system this already we you know it very well concept of momentum in uh, uh, physics this concept again uh, we are applying it in a by we using the cross product we can derive like this so here capital m bar is equal to r bar cross f bar what is r r bar r bar is what position vector of the point p and what is f bar that is force momentum of a point uh, momentum of force f bar about o similarly momentum of a couple what is we mean by momentum of a couple that is r1 bar minus r2 bar cross f bar where r1 and r2 are position vectors of the points of a applications of the force cap f bar and minus f bar so whenever r1 r2 are given for you and position vectors of two forces are given for you then uh, momentum of the couple is given by r1 minus r2 cross f bar hope my friends if you like this video you please share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon you will get the notifications and with this we have completed the entire the theory part along with some of the beautiful problems in coming lessons we are mainly concentrating on solving the problems of vectors only all the problems are very very useful for all coming competitive examinations that we will get in the next videos thank you once again wish you all the best Thank you.